I think the most important thing is to find the look, is to find the look of that, of that. How do you make a dream world? Not like so dreamy that it become like a, like a, a fairy tale or fantasy, you know, because yet it has to be scary, it has to be eerie, you know, and yet in the real world, you still have to be eerie and scary, but you have a different look. You have the realistic look. In order to separate dream world from reality, we've actually made it reasonably obvious in most instances. In places like Freddy's Hell, um, you're instantly aware that it's a completely outlandish place to be. And the same with Jason's dream world. These are places that couldn't exist anywhere. So uh, I, I was lucky to have, like, you know, Fred Murphy and the art director, you know, John Woolard and everybody, like, work so closely together and the visual effect people sort of, like, find that balance, you know? So we, we use a lot of color, different color, the, a lot of primary color, like deep red, deep blue, deep green on the dream world. When the uh, nightmare parts happen in um, what we call a real environment, like one of the houses, then we've treated it filmically as different. We've played with lighting, with bleach passing, with all sorts of things like that in order to make it a bit more subtle. The boiler room is an interesting set. It's, it's Freddy's nightmare world. And what I've done there is modeled that set after um, a city called Kowloon uh, in China, where it was a city that developed uh, over the years without any regard to building code or anything else. And all of the cable and the plumbing and the wire and electrical were all just sort of hung on walls. And they would drape down hallways and into rooms. And it was quite outlandish. So the set was an existing boiler room. And we've added tons and tons and tons of cable and wire and boilers and, and all sorts of mechanical and electrical stuff so that it's absolutely crazy in there and then painted everything with five different coats of paint in the sort of rust and fire range so that when the light hits it it has this very deep texture to it. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's Penny for your thoughts, Chief. Hey, Robert, does he want me to grab him and start that move? You know, when I turn him so, around? Yeah, up here, right? Yeah. And Jason, Jason is like painful like this. And then his hand, this hand, actually, without you knowing it, is pulling out the machete. And this hand, you push me like right and turn around. Yeah. No, you just push my hand almost like slice my, oh, my no, yeah. decapitate me. I see what you know, like, yeah, Well, I, I think that the film needed yeah. this, this look because the look of the film has this sort of graphic novel look to it, you know. Uh, the, the whole way it's stylized uh, is because of their contribution between Ronnie and Fred Murphy, the cinematographer. Okay, we have speed. Hey, uh, pull this, pull this later. So rolling. I'm still too far out. You gotta come roll. closer. All right. Action. Penny for your thoughts, Chief. Okay. Okay. All right, I thought we were gonna catch his dialogue, his improv dialogue at the end. So do you want it? Yeah. Set. Action. Penny for your thoughts, Chief. Oh, scary! <laughs> okay, we've cut. Thank you very much. Okay, that was, much yeah. okay, that, was that was our first really roll good again. One. Here we go, Let's and roll more. the sound, please. What's interesting about the production design on this movie is that we have decided 
to not treat it like a normal horror film. We've decided that we actually want to make all the sets and the costumes and everything else very real so that when scary stuff happens, you're really not expecting it at all. But when he falls? When, when he falls, it's still not green. With Jason's dream world, to differentiate it from anything else, I've used um, watercolors because that's his secret fear. We're going to have like, he hit, right? He hit, he fell. Right. And then we have, the, the second unit have a shot of the bursting. <laughs> right? Oh, that should be sort of red, 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 red yeah? Red, yeah? So when we cut back to Freddy getting up, it's green, right? Okay. What did he see? We can just jump back. You see him through the water. Yeah, yeah. Right? And then, we and, then, and then through the water. Reverse, reverse again. Reverse, you see yeah. Jason come up. Boom! Looks up. Through the waterfall. Through well, the waterfall. Water, right. Come down. And then go back to, 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 to Freddy. Freddy. We can clear. Right. Clear. And Freddy's eyes go. <coughs> Fantastic. You can shoot reverse magazine. Mm -hmm. And then have, have Robert try to walk backwards. Backwards. Like I'm walking out of it. You know what I mean? To mm -hmm. shut off. No, so he's dry. It's dry. So it's like there you go. it's like the water sort of like part. Yeah, but the water will be going up. Yeah, gone and then as he yeah, as he yeah, goes. Yeah. So he we have to time this, but to try a couple yeah, times. Yeah, I had to like, yeah. Yeah. So, be like. so we do this from the side. <laughs> yeah, from the side. Okay. Okay? Let's, let's put some dust on him. Let's put some dust on him. He just came up from that boiler. 135 Utah, take one. Mark. Ailing Mark. And set. Action again. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I swung machete at the water, made contact with water. Exactly, good. And then you try again, it's yeah. great. Okay, good. And then try again, and then sort of like... Do you want three times? Two times, two times. Two times. And when I, when I said lower, really low, lower down to like non-threatening okay. 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 Let's try again. Ten. Ten, three for a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it wasn't right. Yeah, there you go. No, 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 it's just the same thing. Go again! Come on! Come on! So there is something you're afraid of, after all. <laughs> the most fun I've had in the sets on this movie it would be split between, I think, Jason's world and Freddy's world because they are, they truly are nightmarish environments and they're the kind of fun stuff that make it quite unique visually. There is a big exterior uh, wherein I've, I've built a house that's at 45 degrees and sunk into the swamp and there are around it all sorts of heads and arms trying to get out of the, of the ground. So the other one was. So we, we, we've, we've got a total of three. Okay, so we're we there, okay. Plus two. So okay, can we uh, just... Oh, keep an eye line over yeah. there. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, one well, sec, we're just going to figure that out now. Um, yeah, how far do you think you want him to walk? And that will determine how far we put the platform. You can either have him come around this way or from shore. It seems, I guess, like he's got to come from shore because yeah, I want to walk around the back. Yeah. So, but you're not going to you're not going to want to have him yeah. walking all that way because that'll just be... Let's go straight back from where we are, more or less. That gives us a three quarter onto it for start, okay? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So Charles, we're going to need about 30 feet of platform. 30 feet, eh? So he's almost shadow water, right? So a little bit how, how far he goes. Right? No, it, well, it does. No, we, he's, he's on a steel platform. We'll just extend the steel platform, but it does get deeper. But. What you suggest, the light come from this one, don't you? Yes. It, it, it could yeah, be that dormer window okay, there. Okay, yeah. that window, okay. Yeah. So we have to put a back to it like this. Yes, what we could do is put a white bounce in the back and then just hit something like that and it'll, yeah, right. it'll pop through. Yeah. And before we go, what we'll do is let these guys see the back of it so they can see their access. What do you think of the mud, John? What did we do? Well, I think the mud's going to be fucking brilliant. I love the mud. What it's going to need is a lot more greens, obviously, but that's a great, great base. Well, we got lots more to dress. We just oh, no, no, I know. I, as I said, I'm this waiting. isn't dress. This is just a base. No, I'm waiting for you. We've been waiting for you. Yeah. Oh no, wait, that's right, that's enough. Is that enough? Uh, the math isn't very good early in the morning. What do you think, Fern? We were in a 
Boone's not happy today. His Boone's spirit is bruised. Get that? Three rings? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this movie, as with, with most movies, the set construction, if it's carried out correctly, that about 20 minutes after the director yells, cut, the whole set will fall apart. Because that means that we haven't wasted one nail or one piece of wood in order to achieve the scenery. On a couple of instances, we actually have some very, very big fires. And you can't use burnable materials, believe it or not, when you're staging a fire, because then take two becomes a bit of a problem. So what we've done is we've, things like the dock, which you'll see in major fire near the end of the movie, it's actually made of steel and a, and a product called hardy board, which is inflammable, or flammable. That's always a funny one in English. Um, and it's all piped with propane pipes so we can control the fire all the time. And that way we could, we could use it uh, as many times as we wish without uh, you know, risking the whole thing burning up. <laughs> this film is different than others I've worked on because A, it's a big horror film and I haven't done a lot of those. I've, I've done similar things like Halloween H2O and um, Final Destination, but this is the first true sort of slasher horror movie I've done. So it's, uh, it's very different and challenging because in order to make it interesting you have to do something different and how to separate it has been the, the fun part.